don't stop. Hey guys, what's up? I have missed y'all something terrible, okay? I missed one vlogmas, and I think that's vlogmas number 16. So technically, this is number, this is number 17, but technically it should be number 16. So I don't know which one I'm going to put it as. I'm probably going to put it at number um, 16, I guess. I don't know. So as you can hear, I'm washing clothes. It's uh, 10.30 at night. And look, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, the day that I was supposed to shoot for um, Vlogmas number 16, your girl couldn't fall asleep. So I was up to 4 o'clock in the a.m. and I, Which was actually Sunday night. And I had to turn around here <laughs> at 6 o'clock and get A.J. up for bed. Or, see? <laughs> get A.J. up for school. Right? And then I had to go to work. I had to be to work at 9 o'clock mo Monday. I don't know how I made it through that day. Only by the grace of God, let me tell you. Because your girl was so tired. <laughs> it's not even funny. So that's why I missed vlogging for number 16 but ain't nothing really major going on y'all it really ain't uh i'm just your plain jane ordinary person i ain't got no ain't really too much excitement going on over here in your girl's life right now i mean it just really ain't I'm playing catch up. I'm playing. I got to do this and I got to do that game. That's where we at. So I need to sit down and make some time and um, get some gifts wrapped for some people. I'm truly done with like going out getting gifts and, and stuff like that. So I, I told y'all that couple weeks ago so I'm done with that um, I got a DIY that is floating around in my head that I kind of want to get done and it's for the bathroom it's real small just something small uh, that I want to do in there and then I can do um, the bathroom tour for you guys was just going to be like that long because <laughs> the bathroom is, is small. And then see what else, what else, what else? I got a couple of the videos, um, that I wrote down that I want to do. Um, I practice, I've been practicing because I've been away from makeup for almost a month, if not longer. It's, I think it's been about a month since I put up that last makeup video. Y'all kind of sneak over there and go look at that video for me and tell me what you think. Let's see what else, y'all. What else? I mean, really, for real, for real, though, ain't really, really too much going on. Really, not too much going on. You know, it's just everyday stuff. Get up, go to work, 
have a good time at work, go get the kid, come back home, get him a bath, give me a bath, we say our prayers, we go to sleep, and we get up and do it all over again the next day. That's basically what it's been, for real. <laughs> I can tell you this, though. I'm truly, truly ready. I love Christmas. I, lo I the The thing that I love about Christmas is this, y'all. I love the lights. I love the Christmas tree. I love the the joy that it's bringing to everyone. But the gift giving and the spending of the money and I got to get this and I got to get that for this person. I'm over it. To me, when it comes to gift giving, it's for the kids. And that's all I'm focusing on. I buy for my kids and I send money for my mom. That's it. So, you know, as far as... Now, I, if I had extra money or if I had money like that... Totally would buy for my kids. Totally would. But I don't I don't have it like that. I really don't. And especially since I have my baby here. I really don't. I, I just ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way in and then to come out of Christmas and go right back into and fall back in line. Uh uh. For one day. Who want who want to do that? And then you load up your credit cards. Now you got to figure out. Okay, now I got to pay the credit cards off. What kind of gratification is that? I mean, yes, you get gratification because you able to get your loved ones and your friends, you know, gifts at Christmas time. But really and truly, why you want to put yourself in a hole like that? Mess your credit score up for one day and we not even celebrating what that day is supposed to be for uh i'll pass i'd rather show you all year round how much i care about you and how much i appreciate you you know by showing it and by telling you but to just give you a gift for one day out of the whole year? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. And I see people that do it. They just go and bye, 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 bye. What for? Even for the kids. There is it's a limit for the kids as well. You know. I'm not. And y'all, when I show y'all that, what I got for AJ for Christmas, y'all tell me if I overdid it. I don't think I did, you know, because he, he really needs it, you know, to show... I just want to show him a good time. I just want to show him all happiness. You know, I know it's going to be a lot of times where it's going to be, you know, some bumps and and all that kind of stuff in the road and things like that. But I just want him to be in a really, really happy spot. You know what I'm saying? Mentally and emotionally. So, and y'all know me, I'm going to teach him uh, the right way, how to do things, you know, we, like I said, we pray, and he says his prayer, I teach him to say grace before he eat, a lot of times I see a lot of people, and they just start eating, God thank God for that food you eating, for real, you do. And I, I don't care what it is. If bag of potato chips, I don't care what it is. Like when I have my uh, uh, hot cocoa and my donut in the morning, I say my grace before I eat. 
Because what if I choke on that food? I ain't tell the Lord thank you. Nah, he don't get me like that. But I teach him things like that. And I, I teach him, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Please. You know, because I told y'all, one thing I can't stand is a child that's demanding, give me this, give me, give me, who, what? Give, Jimmy got drowned. <laughs> no, that's not how we about to roll. But, you know, this society is just, it's out of control. It's the best way I could put it. It's out of control. And, and we got to pray. You know, for real, for real. I'm having a good time with everything that's going on right now. Like I said, I'm in the, I'm in the, in the mindset emotionally and spiritually. Where I'm happy, you know, truly happy. I'm slowly getting back to myself. Uh, I went through a little, but I'm getting back. I'm getting back, and it feels really, really good. It really feels good. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited to meet 2019 with open arms with a smile with uh, what am I what's the word I'm looking for with optimi optimism optimal op optical optimism I, I'm really, I feel so excited about 2019, you know. I really feel good about it. And before it comes, I want to purge some things out from out of me and just get rid of it and never ever talk about it again. And I, I feel close enough to you guys to where and I and I thank God, you know, for my small group of beauties that come through here and that show support because I really and truly even though we haven't never met, I feel really close to you guys. And so I want to get this, I want to talk to y'all and get this off of me and then I never speak about it again. So, yeah. That's where I'm at right now. I want to make some changes, some major changes. Uh, I'm putting that out and speaking that into existence. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to come through. It's going to come true through fruition. And... Yeah, I just feel like God is about to move in an amazing way in my life, you know, and I don't know which way it's coming from, but it's just, I feel different. I feel like. I don't know. I can't explain it. And with especially with everything that's going on around me, for me to feel like this, I know it ain't nothing but the Lord. I know it ain't nothing but God. And that's why I want to tell you guys, if any of you all out there and you feeling like a certain kind of way about something, don't don't that's just that's just the enemy trying to let you not get to what God has planned for you because 
the God that I serve, he said that we can have whatever it is that our hearts desire pretty much. We can have it. All you got to do is just rely on him. Just be in him. Let him and he got you. So if you feeling any kind of sadness or you feeling defeated or you feel like that there's no way out of what it is that you're going through. It's not true. It's a way out. It's always a way out. You never closed in. And all you got to do is just hold on to his unchanging hand. And I'm telling you, once you do that and you give your all and you give your whole mind, body, and soul, and I don't mean just on Sunday or on Wednesday, every day, I I hear a lot of people say, yes, I'm saved and, you know, I, we go to church and we do this. But you bumping um, whoever the latest rapper is, you bumping their music and you twerking and cussing. No, you straddling the fence and you can't do that. And say you saved. Because. You going to church. You hearing the word. Are you listening. Or are you just hearing. Because it's a difference. And you have to. You have to hear the word. Because once you totally. Give yourself over to God. And I'm not saying that you. You just going to be out here. And you ain't going to sin. Never no more. That's not that's not what that's not how it works and a lot of people under the assumption that's why they turn away from the word and i i don't want to say turn away from the church because church church doing way too much you're doing way too much you can put money in front of god that's a whole nother video okay but the church they have turned and they have put money Ahead of saving folk and bringing them to God. And you better stop. You got people out here that's shooting for mega churches and you want to be the biggest church in this area. You want to be the biggest church. In the... It's not about that. It's about how many souls are you bringing to God? How many souls are you saving? When is the last time you gave a testimony to someone? When is the last time you went and you made sure that the sick and shut in was taken care of? When is the last time you did a selfless act? When is the last time you took money out your church fund and took homeless people off the street? When is the last time you did that? Church? Y'all, <laughs> don't get me started, okay? Don't get me started because you know I'll go there in a minute. I just want us to stay prayerful, stay encouraged, most of all. Just stay encouraged. And um, when you call on the name of Jesus, something truly happens. Try it. When you go through something, when you feel you at your lowest point in your life, when you feel like, I, you know what, I don't do this no more. I'm not going to do this no more. I'm just going to pack up my clothes and I'm heading out. I'm leaving. I'm walking out on my marriage. I'm walking out on my kids. I'm walking out on this job. I'm walking out on my family. I'm walking out on my friends. I'm walking out on myself. Call on the name of Jesus. And watch what happens. And then leave it in God's hands. 
you got to take your hands off of it. Recognize, yes, this is the, the, the dilemma that I'm going through. But this battle ain't mine. It's the Lord's. And give it to him. Give it to him. And he'll make a way. Oh, yes, he will. He will make a way. When you hear that song and it say you got to praise through it and, and shout through it, you got to do it. You got to do it because that's the only way. God appreciates everything that we give to him when we praise him when things are going good. But he wants you to lean on him and he wants you to just bear down and give all your burdens to him when you feel like you can't make it. He wants you to give it to him. He made us. He made us. So he know how much we can stand. And when you hear those words, he you know how much he can he knows how much we can stand. He wants you to give it to him and let him work it out. He don't want you to oh this is I can't do this. You know, I ain't got no money to pay this bill. I I just lost my job. I don't know how I'm going to pay my mortgage. Give it to God. Because trust and believe he got another door open for you. He got another door open for you. Just got to trust and believe that he got all your back, honey. He got all your back. And he's strong enough to handle it. All of our problems. Just know that. Know that. And be with be so confident as you are when things are going good. Be confident to go through your struggles, your stripes. Be strong enough to get through it. Be confident enough. Say, I got this. Don't worry about it. I got it because God got me. And watch him work. I didn't come on here to say all of this. But the, it's just coming through. Coming through from God to you. So use it as you will. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for just being here for me. Like, seriously, being really, really here for me. You know, you guys encourage me so much. You just don't even know it. You encourage me so much. You know, your your comments and your compliments. It just, it, when I read it, I just smile. I have the biggest smile, and I'll be like, oh, my gosh, really? You can really think that. Oh, my gosh. It means a lot to me, for real. And I literally, when I read it, I literally say those things that I just said. <laughs> so, just no, never give up. Because that's just the enemy trying to tear you apart. Don't do it. Don't give them the victory. Say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You have no victory over me. No weapons formed shall prosper. Just know that. All right, guys, let me get off of here because uh, I'm going to try to get me some more sleep. Try to catch up on the sleep that I, I missed out on the other night. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit up here and, you know, probably edit this so I can try to get it up in by morning time. So, yes, guys, um, I'm holding you up. I'm holding you up. I love you. Stay fancy. Stay blessed.
and stay strong in the Lord. All right. I love you so much.